All right, we have a weak acid problem, so we're going to set up our balanced chemical equation, ice table, and equilibrium constant expression. We have an initial concentration of 0.1 molar propanoic acid, and we're going to some of it will react with water. That same amount is going to be producing H3O plus and our conjugate acid. Equilibrium concentrations, as always, are the initial plus the change. So we're going to plug these values, the equilibrium values, into our Ka. We've plugged in our values from the ice table into our equilibrium constant expression. And what we see, we have an equation we're simply going to solve for x, although it'll make it easy for us if we can do the simplifying approximation that this x can be neglected. It can be disregarded. So let's test. Okay, to test whether or not we can make the simplifying approximation, we multiply our equilibrium constant by a thousand and compare it to the initial concentration of our acid. Because again, we're trying to test whether or not this is can be ignored if this is negligible compared to our initial concentration. So 1,000 times Ka is 0 0.013. That is indeed less than the initial concentration of our acid, so our approximation is OK. So we've made our simplifying approximation. Here we've solved for x squared. So we're going to take the square root of each side in order to determine x. All right, so we've solved for x, which is, as we see from our ice table, the value of hydronium ion concentration. So now we simply need to calculate the pH. All right, so we take the negative log of H3O plus ion concentration, and we get our final answer. Our pH is 2.94. Note sig figs when we're cal calculating pH, only those decimals, numbers past a decimal point count as significant. All right, before we move on, I want to show that we were justified in making our approximation. The equilibrium concentration of our acid is, within sig figs, the same as our initial concentration.